Unit 5. Psychiatry. The Changing Face of Depression. Reading 1. Our current ideas of what constitutes depression date from the mid-18th century. Before that time, the old notion of melancholia, steeped in classical humoral theories, melancholia derived from the Greek melania and coal black bile. Reflected intensity of idea. Sadness or low mood were not primary symptoms. The melancholic symptoms we regard today as part of a depressive disorder would have been called vapors, hypochondria, or neurosis. Depression, a term used to mean reduced functioning in other medical disciplines, came to be associated with mental depression. It was adopted because it implied a physiological change and was defined as a condition characterized by a sinking of spirits, lack of courage or initiative, and a tendency to gloomy thoughts. Jastro, 1901. Vocabulary 1. Humoral. Of or relating to the body, fluids, especially with regard to immune responses involving antibodies in body fluids as distinct from cells. Number 2. Hypochondria. Abnormal anxiety about one's health. Number 3. Neurosis. A relatively mild mental illness that is not caused by organic disease, involving symptoms of stress. Number 4. Implied. Strongly suggests the truth or existence of something not expressly stated. Number 5. Gloomy. Dark or poorly lit especially so as to appear depressing. Reading 2. The concept was legitimized by Crapeline, 1921, who used the term depressive states in his description of the unitary concept of manic depressive illness, encompassing melancholia, simplex and gravis, stupor, fantastical melancholia, delirious melancholia, and involutional melancholia. A number of assumptions surrounded the affective disorders at that time. They involved primary pathology of effect, had stable psychopathology, had brain pathology, were periodic in nature, had a genetic basis, occurred in persons with certain personality traits, and were endogenous, not related to precipitants. Vocabulary 2. Number 1 legitimize, to make something legal, or to make it acceptable, permissible, or correct. Number two, unitary, single, uniform. Number three, manic, showing wild and apparently deranged excitement and energy. Number four, simplex, composed of or characterized by single part or structure. Number five, gravis, heavy, severe. Number six, involutional, the state of being involved. Two, intricacy, complexity. Number seven, pathology, the science of the causes and effects of diseases, especially the branch of medicine that deals with the laboratory examination of samples of. Number eight, precipitants, a cause of a particular action or event. Number nine, stupor, a state of near unconsciousness or insensibility. Number 10. Delirious. In an acutely disturbed state of mind, resulting from illness or intoxication, and characterized by restlessness, illusions. Reading 3. In 1917, Fraud published Mourning and Melancholia, influencing more than a generation emphasizing cognitive and intrapsychic factors. In Etiology of Depressive Disorders, and shifting the face of clinical descriptions from objective behavioral science to subjective symptoms. Vocabulary 3. Number 1. Intrapsychic. Intrapsychic is a psychological term referring to internal psychological processes of the individual. Number 2. Etiology. Etiology is the study of the causes of something. Reading 4. Over the intervening years, there has been much debate as to whether a biological depression exists separate from a neurotic type. 
Terminology has fluctuated around endogenous, vital, autonomous, endomorphic, and melancholic depression, characterized by distinctive symptoms and signs, genetic basis, and running an independent course unrelated to psychosocial factors. In contrast, neurotic or reactive depression could manifest in multiple forms, showed clear responsiveness to the environment, and ran a more variable course. Both ICD-10 and DSM-IV fudge the issue somewhat by using severity specifiers, for example, mild, moderate, severe, as well as symptom specifiers, somatic symptoms, psychotic symptoms. Vocabulary 4. Intervening. Come between so as to prevent or alter a result or course of events. Number 2. Fluctuated. Rise and fall irregularly in number or amount. Number 3. Endogenous. Having an internal cause or origin. Number 4. Vital. Absolutely necessary or important. Essential. Number 5. Endomorphic. Having a squat and fleshy build. Number 6. Distinctive. Characteristic of one person or thing and so serving to distinguish it from others. Number 7. Variable. An element, feature, or factor that is liable to vary or change. Number 8. Specifiers. Someone who draws up specifications, giving details. Somatic. Of or relating to the body. Symptoms. A characteristic sign or indication of the existence of something else. Reading 5. The advent of antidepressants introduce a further complication into the mix. Although electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, was widely accepted as a treatment for vital depression, the idea of a drug treatment for reactive depressive disorders ran counter to the received wisdom of the psychological basis to these conditions and the need for psychological treatment. Number 1. Electroconvulsive Of or relating to the treatment of mental illness by the application of electric shocks to the brain. Number 2. Counter A thing that opposes or prevents something else. 